Uh, Stephen, just first of all, uh, returning to Cork City a couple of years on, just your thoughts on being back in the club first of all? Yeah, just delighted, yeah. Um, you know, obviously very different from 2017, 2018, 2016, but excited a new challenge. Um, I'm home, you know what I mean? I've always wanted to come back at some stage. Um, just want to enjoy my football again, and this is a perfect time to do it. I know Colin very well from playing with him in 2015. Great man, brilliant coach. Um, I know he's involved with the academy. He's done a fantastic job down here, and now to be involved the first team with him and John Cotter is brilliant. So just want to get started now and, and try to get the club back to where they belong. Yeah, I know. No, obviously, we all know you've been keeping a close eye on the club um, while you were away, and you mentioned the chance to work with Colin and Cotts again. Just your thoughts on the squad that he's putting together here? Yeah, obviously, it's a young squad, um, and I think that's one of the main reasons why uh, Colin and Cotts wanted to bring me in, is my experience, you know, along with Garoud. Um, you know, there's some good quality there. I've followed the academy through when I was here, you know, now some of them young lads are making a step up to the first team, and, you know, there's a real good bit of talent there, Cork talent. So, anyway, I can help with my experience of, of leagues and cups, and you know, I have a couple of hundred games on my belt, so if I can help them lads any way I can in the gym, nutrition, whatever way I can do to help them and, and help the team, and that's going to help me again on the field, uh, getting them lads to rally around me. Yeah, and I suppose, look, we all know you have a great relationship with the Cork City fans throughout your time here and even since you left, and the thought of playing for those fans again, obviously it's a funny environment now with crowds not there at the moment, but you must obviously be longing for the day that you set foot in Turner's Cross, first of all, and then do so in front of the crowds again. Yeah, when I left, I, I didn't think I'd get the chance to do it again, you know, um, you know, I thought that was me, but, you know, I've seen what's going on in the club now at the moment the last one or two years, and I just really wanted to get the back, and you know, this club deserves being in the Premier League, simple as that, Um. You know, I don't care how young our squad is or how inexperienced our squad is, Colin and Cots will get the boys ready to go. Um, you know, and the fans have always had a fantastic relationship with the fans here. It's it's well known in this this football circle. Um, you know, I was a fan away when I left for the two years and it, it hurt me and as well as it hurt the fans to see what the club was going through and you know, and to be honest how bad we were doing. So to get back and you know, I just hope Turner's Cross can get packed again or wherever we play, you know, just to get things going and you know, this fan these fans deserve this club and, and I'm just happy to be a part of it and I'll do it. They know I'll do my all to get us back to, to the big time, hopefully. And, you know, we'll take from the start and pre-season, you know, bed these young lads in and, you know, we'll be right there or thereabouts. Yeah, and I suppose just kind of touching on that, you know, it's it's probably difficult to put a, a target on it without knowing exactly what way the league is going to shape up and everything like that. But from what you're saying to me, you certainly expect us to be competitive this season. Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't be down here if we're not going to be competitive, you know. Um, I'm not just down here to make up the numbers and just to plod along for the year, you know competitive is the least we can do and with a guy like Colin at the top or at the helm like <laughs> they're definitely going we're definitely going to be competitive but you know as I said there's some good young players there Garrod's experience hopefully my experience you know and you know we're not setting any targets for ourselves absolutely not myself and Colin already talked about it you know and that we'll do we'll keep in house so you know we'll take every game as it comes and see where we stand at the end of the year.